Okay, so in this example here, we have a set of numbers and we're going to find a Q1, Q3 and our interquartile range. Okay, so let's do our Q1 first. So the first thing we're going to find is our index of Q1. It's basically n plus 1 times p over 100. So we know that our n in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers. So we're going to have 9 times p is always 25 for q1 so 9 times 25 over 100 which is basically 2.25 okay so how do we find what number is corresponds to 2.25 an index of 2.25 so let's label our indexes up here so 1 2 3 4 5 six seven eight so we know 2.25 is between our index of two and three so it's somewhere between 13 and 22 so q1 calculation is basically the lower number 13 plus whatever the decimal value of our index is so 0 0.25 and then the higher number minus the lower number is going to give us fifteen point two five, and then it's very similar for Q3 as well, our index of Q3 is basically again 8 plus 1 which is 9 and our P is now 75 for Q3. Which is basically 6.75. So we know that 6.75 is between 6 and 7 so our solution is going to be between 39 and 46. So Q3 is basically the lower number plus the decimal value times the higher number minus the lower number. Forty four point two five. Last thing we need to find is the interquartile range, which is pretty simple. It's just Q three minus Q one 